In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install AWS CLI and how to configure it. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer related tips. And now, let us get started. To install the AWS CLI, first you need to be sure that you have Python. You need to check the version. If you have version 3, then it needs to be 3.3 or newer. If you have 2, then it needs to be 2.6 or newer version. First, we need to follow the, the steps to install the Python PIP, which is the installing packaging for the Python. And to install this, I'm going to run several commands, and all the commands, they will be in the description. So first, I'm going to run curl minus capital O, and then I'm going to download that Python script from that URL. After that, I'm going to run Python against the file that we just downloaded. And I'm going to give it a user. Now let us be sure that that PIP was installed. So if I run PIP, it won't be running because we need to export and source the path into the environment again. So I'm going to run export path equals and then the home of the local and then bin and I'm going to add the path. Again, all the commands, you're going to find them in the description. And then I'm, I need also to source the updated file, which is in the bash script, inside your home folder. Now let us try again PIP. You find that it's now it's working fine. Let me clear the screen. Now let us install the AWS CLI by running PIP install AWS CLI. After the installation is done, now the first step that we want to do is to configure the AWS console, uh, I mean AWS CLI. To do that, we need to go to the AWS console then you go to your account and from there choose my security credentials. After that choose access keys and create a new key. To create a new access key, it's very simple. You're gonna select create new access key and then it's gonna, if you click on show access key, it's gonna show you access key and secret access key and you can also download the file now let us configure the AWS CLI so simply I'm gonna run AWS configure and inside the access key I'm gonna put the access key that we've just created and inside the secret access key I put the secret access key and here Either you just press enter, it's going to be the default, or for example, I'm going to add US East 1. That is the default output format if you want it like a JSON or different types of the output. I'm going to press enter, and that's it. To test that everything is working fine, I'm going to test it, for example, against the EC2, and I'm going to list or describe the N instances that I have at the moment. So I'm going to run AWS. EC2 and then describe N instances. So now it gave me the output of the N instance that I have in a JSON format showing all the configuration of the N instance that what is the state of the monitoring, if it's running or not, so it's showing running. And to use AWS CLI, it's very simple. You can 
always use the help whenever you are using even any of the parameters. So for example, AWS EC2, and then you can go help. You're gonna get all the information for EC2 with all the other available commands like accept VPC, accept reserved instance, allocate address, and again, you can run again help. So you can go AWS S3 or AWS EC2 accept reserved instance and then check for the help again. So that's it for today guys until we meet again. Bye.